So, Wisdom, obviously, you know, you hear a lot about the opioid overdoses and you hear a lot about uh, ways that you could counter that, right? Uh, but what do you really do if you're in that situation? Well, we're kind of we're playing off our theme from yesterday when we were showing you how to do CPR live on the air. Today, we're talking about Narcan and the administration. So we enlisted some friends from Montgomery County Fire and Rescue to join us here. Abby, tell you're going to walk us through the process here. Gentlemen, I appreciate you joining us. They protect us right down the street here in Bethesda Station 6. So thank you guys for uh, for coming in today to do this. Uh, first of all, I, I mean, do, do you just see it more often these days? I know the studies are showing, especially for youth, it's happening. Uh, there's more reports. But even in this area, Montgomery County, do you see it more often? We are. We are seeing an increase in uh, suspected opiate overdoses where we're arriving, a person's unresponsive, and we don't know the reason. We give Narcan, and it works. And so that's how we're knowing that we're seeing this increase um, in call volume. All right, in just a minute, we're going to walk you through the process and show you exactly what to do should you find somebody in that situation and have access to the, the Narcan. This is this is what essentially you would give out when we talk about yep. like the Narcan giveaways or or the availability for the product. What is it? What is coming in with that? What's in there? Yeah, so these Narcan kits contain two doses of Narcan. These uh, single dose, uh, single administration kits you see right here. Um, it also comes with some resource materials. Knowtherisksmc.org is Montgomery County's uh, website with all of the appropriate phone numbers, QR codes, sign up for training, sign up for Narcan, um, you know, uh, um, recipients. Uh, so if you want to get a Narcan kit, that's how you can get one. Step-by-step um, -step administration in case you've never done it before, um, as well as fentanyl test strips. And people get confused with these. But yeah, this, what is this too? So this is to encourage people who are using drugs to test their stash ahead of time so they know if fentanyl is in there. And then hopefully they either discard that or use a significant amount less so they're less at risk of uh, overdosing. So this is more for the, for the person who... I mean, we've talked about ways that people access drugs online, et cetera. If you have something, this should show if there is a presence of fentanyl. Yes, absolutely. All right, so that can save a life right there in yep. itself. Uh, so, okay, so you get the test kit. If you get one in some ways, read through it, read through the information mm -hmm. first, signs of opioid overdoses, and then how to administer it. So let's move on to that phase, all right? Sure. So this is our unfortunate person yeah. here uh, who's not having the best day today, right? Right. Right, so we're looking for someone who is um, not responsive, not breathing. We're going to tap them. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? If they're not responding, um, but they're breathing, we want to go ahead and administer that Narcan with a suspected overdose. The Narcan is um, harmless if they're not overdosed. If they're unconscious for another reason, it's not going to hurt them. But if they are um, on an overdose, then uh, it will um, greatly uh, increase their chance of survival. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, this, this yeah. is the way Super. that it comes, right? Yep, So we just peel off the back. We already started the process. So we take it out. This is a nasal spray, and, I mean, it's going in the nose one way or another, right? Does yep. it matter? How, where, how deep in, what do we do? Uh, no, just um, you want to make sure that the tip is uh, firmly in there so the medication goes up to the blood brain barrier. And okay. So just and put then just it push in the red? And just push. That's it. And that's it. That's it. And then what typically happens once that's administered to the victim? Um, if they have overdosed on an opiate, they're going to wake up pretty quickly within a couple minutes. Wow. Now, yeah. will there be any signs? And, and uh, you know, if, if we do this to somebody that will know that it, might be working? You know, is there any immediate response or anything? Um, if it's working, but they haven't woken up yet, you might see increase in respiration. So they're going to be breathing a little better, a little faster. Um, you might see them kind of start to wake up a little bit. Um, one dose uh, should be enough, but in case it's not, there's a second dose that you can administer. How These, long should you wait for that? Uh, wait at least, you know, three to five minutes to see if the first dose works. Save that second dose, administer it if you need to, but if not, Call 911, make sure that you have an ambulance on the way because Narcan does wear off quickly. So whatever is in their system is still in their system. It's just that the opiate receptors are blocked. But this um, is the initial step to go to try to get them snapped back into it again. Right, right. And when that wears off, they're going to go back into this state. So we want to call 911, make sure we have an ambulance on the way so that we right. can get help that they need, get them to the hospital. And it goes without saying, but because you mentioned it initially, if you said if they're not breathing, you got to go other methods first, right? Try to resuscitate. Right. CPR. Yep, Do CPR absolutely. first. And, and then com combine with this or just worry about the CPR first? If you have two people there and someone can help you and one person can administer the Narcan while the other person is doing compressions, that's great. But if you're by yourself, focus on the compression so you keep that blood circulating. Um, and uh, you can try and, and give a quick dose of Narcan. You saw how fast it is. It yeah. really is very quick. It just takes a second. Yep. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I mean, the demonstration is, is super key for everybody. We've talked about it a lot. Now you get a chance to see what you actually would do in that situation. Guys, back to you on the couch. Important information to know and, and becoming, unfortunately, increasingly necessary. All right, Steve, thank you. 921.